Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily Double, Mishnah Yomi. Today we're learning Meister Shani Perek Dalit, Mishnah Yis Hei and Vav. Mishnah Hei says, Yomi Begore and Ve'in Biyodomos. He's standing in the threshing floor, he's, you know, processing his wheat. Um, and technically he doesn't want to, like we mentioned in the previous Mishnah Yis, there's ways of getting off paying, redeeming it, uh, your, your Meister Shani fruit, and uh, not paying the Chomish. If you redeem your own Meister Shani fruit, you put it on its value on the coins. You have to add a fifth. Um, so you don't have money to give to somebody else to trick. You can trick, put a, you know, play a ruse in order to prevent yourself from having to pay a chomesh. So you want to give someone else money. You don't have any money. You give your fruits to your friend as a matana. Now, the Rav says we're talking about you give it to him before you took a matana. Because once a matana, you can't give it to a matana to somebody else. Because it's Momon Gavo and you can't give it a matana like the first Mishnah our Masechta said. So he gives it to his friend. The friend takes off Maestro Shane and he says that um, the his friend says the the payros are mechul on money in my house, um, or in not in my house. It would be actually you'd have to say on the the money in the person who gave it to me's house. Because technically, if he gave it to him, Betivlo, so and when he took out my it belonged to him, to the friend. So if he would put it on his own money, he'd have to add a fifth. So he's put it on the money of the person who gave it to him. So therefore, they avoid the Chomish, like in Mishnah, Dalid. <clears throat> Mishnah Vav says, Mashach Mimenu Maeser Besela. Right? <clears throat> you're allowed to sell Maeser Shani. Um, even though the Mishnah, in the first parak said, you're not allowed to sell Maeser Shani. That's only talking about where you're not selling the person that he should own the Maeser Shani, you're just selling it to him to hire him to bring it to your shalim for you that you can't do you can't do uh you can't do business with your Maeser Shani fruits however you want to sell it to somebody so that's like redeeming it right um the the Kedusha's Maeser Shani goes on the money that you get from that so you agree to buy uh Maeser Shani from somebody and the way of being Kona Kasef is Kona Midal Raisa for different reasons, <clears throat> uh, according to Rabbi Yochan, it says a kesef is calling me the rights of a and midra bana. They said uh, for different reasons it shouldn't be kona. So therefore, mashicha is kona by metalton for small metalton. So <clears throat> for actually bigger metalton, I'm sorry. Hagba is the preferred kenyan for small metalton. He took a mashicha. He took a pile of grain and he moved it. And at that time, the Maeser Shani was worth a seller. That's how much the grain was worth at that time. Below his peak, Lefdoso, Aj, Amud, Bishtayim. However, when are you with that? When are you redeeming the Maeser Shani? When you give value, money for it. See, the agreement was to give him, I don't know, a barrel of wheat. And it was at that time, when, when he pulled it into his Roshos, he pulled it and was calling it, it was worth a seller. And now, <clears throat> by the time he's paying for it, it's already worth shtayim. It's worth double. No sin, no sella. All he has to give him is a sella, a mistake, a sella, right? Because the price is is fixed when the Kenyan happened. The Kenyan happened at the Mashiach. When you gave the money, the redemption is really just a finalization of the actual Kenyan. But the Kenyan technically happened at the Mashiach, so therefore you go at the price it was in the Mashiach. So therefore you give a sella. The sella is the mice or shani money. It's in value for the mice or shani was when, you, when you're a conit. Mustaka a sella. The person... Is able to profit a seller, and the seller is chulin, the second seller. O meiser sheni shalo, and meiser sheni belongs to him. Mashal meno meiser b'shtayim, the opposite case, right? It was worth two slaim, the barrel of, of grain. Below his speak levdoso, acha am b'sela. By the time he gave him the money, it went down in value. No sin lo sela mi chulin. He only has to, uh, he can give a seller of chulin, right? Because when you're poder meiser sheni, kol dover shabakoba in a balm and a chulin. When you're used to be poder, you're chiyuvim, you have to use chulin money. So that hul and money becomes Maeser Shani. The seller shall Maeser Shani shall low. The second Maeser, you have to pay uh, for the original uh, price at the time of Mashiach. So you have to add another Sela. But that one you can make and you can use a Sela of Maeser Shani to pay with. Um, because really the price is a Sela now. In Hayat Ama Aretz, no sin lo Demai. Another cool is if you're selling to Ama Aretz, you could also give him the second Sela. You could give him Demai. Demai is a suffix, but it's from Maeser. Ama Aretz is not going to be mocked on Demai. But so what? It's only Suffolk. Midaraisa, Midara, we assume that the Mai is not Tevel. True as much as we're taking off. Midarabana is the Suffolk. So you can, you can pay him in the Mai. That's the conclusion of today's year. I hope you enjoyed. See you in Ian Mitzion coming up next.